meet in special board meeting in the Gunbarrel City Council Chambers located at 1716 West Main Street, Gunbarrel City, Texas, 75156 on Monday, October 22nd, 2019 at 5 p.m. Meetings called to order. Roll call from my left, please. Kyle here. Lawrence here. Damiano here. Merritt here. Johannes here. We have a quorum. Uh, although it's not on this agenda, we're going to open uh, the floor to citizen comments. Are there any comments at this time? Mr. Ray? Thank you to the board for letting me speak to you this evening. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to attend your last meeting. Was able to see the video a couple days ago. First, I'd like to just make a request to make it easier for you to follow the video. If there's somebody speaking, include that in the microphone. Use your mic, please. Yeah, drop down to the microphone. Um, please ask whoever's speaking to use the microphone because on the videos, waving arms and hands and everything, it makes no sense. Uh, now to my main point. Uh, during the last meeting, the issue of sending projects to the city council arose. Uh, my understanding is that at this time, the board is being asked to vote for a project to be forwarded to the council without them having seen a performance agreement. The performance agreement is the most important document in the project package. The executive director actually said in that meeting that the, per the reason for this was that he was getting too much feedback from the board when a performance agreement was provided to them. Isn't that what the board is supposed to be doing? Bottom line is that the board is essentially being asked to sign off on a project without the most important information. I understand that the council voted to emasculate this board, but they cannot for you, they cannot make you vote for a project that you have not been informed of. Uh, yes, for a project that you are not familiar with the details. I urge you all to vote no on any project for which you have not seen a final performance agreement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Any other citizen comments? No. Com comments are closed. Item one, discuss and or take action to approve and recommend that city council approve a performance agreement by and between Gun Barrel City, Gun Barrel Development LLC and the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation. Have a motion, please. I move we accept the performance agreement as presented. Second. Do I have a second? Second. Discussion? Yeah, a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Um, I'll try and use the mic. Uh, my first question is, is, and I guess Leo or Joe will have to answer the question. We submitted a request to city council uh, for a dollar amount for this project at 35000 and then looking at the numbers, in other words, I thought the thirty thousand, the thirty-five thousand was thirty thousand for the road, five thousand for the engineering. That that's, that was my impression. Like, uh, uh, so I guess my question, my first question is, we've only at requested thirty-five thousand for this project, which doesn't cover the total cost. Damiano, we have six bids for doing the for doing the. Asphalt, which you have seen from 24,000 to 26,000. Okay. And what I'm seeing in the performance agreement is 35,000 for the road and 5,200 for the engineering. Incorrect. That's the road will be somewhere between 24 and 26,000 and 5,000 for engineering. Currently, the engineer has bid the road at $24,000. Okay. 
My understanding, my initial understanding of the way it was presented is that the road is being put in there to allow people to get to the commercial or the retail areas. The road is being put in there for the reason that's in your performance agreement, if you read it. I did. Which read. says they will build 2,500 square feet of commercial space. By the time this conversation is over, you'll realize I read it. Okay. Uh, Gary, page 7 uh, states that qualified expenditures in an amount not to exceed $35,000. This amount includes $5,200 engineering fee. Yeah, I read that. Separate. I read that. Uh, what I didn't see in there, and, and I may have missed that. I will admit this. I didn't see anything about receipts. About what? Pardon? About what? Receipts? Yes. That's in there? No, it's not in there. Well, how... how if we're not getting receipts, how are we how are we reimbursing? Are we just writing a check for thirty five thousand? Gary, we are building the road. We pay the engineer fifty two hundred dollars, and we will pay the bill for putting the road in, which is all going to be less than twenty five hundred dollars. I don't know who you want receipts from. The EDC is actually paying the bill for. We are paying for the road. That's what the thirty five thousand is for. And then, if we're paying, then if we're paying for the road, why is the performance agreement between Gunbrill City Development and the EDC? Because they have to build 2,500 square feet of commercial space in order for their performance to be done. I didn't see the 2,500 feet specified in the performance agreement. It's in the agreement. No, it's not. It's, it's, 2,500 square feet? It's in the facility uh, definition. Letter G. Page, Page 5. five. I'd like to interject at this time. At the last meeting, we had a discussion that this committee, if they had questions, to please send them to Ed. And our president and Ed selected a three-person pers uh, review group to try to put everything together and make sure we went to the attorney with the proper information and he would draft a proper legal document. And we're paying this attorney a lot of money, and he is highly recommended EDC attorney. So without sounding insulting, this is the wrong place to be asking it, and we're about three weeks late in asking these questions because we were all asked to submit any request we had weeks ago. And if we slow this down and our road doesn't get done and we lose this deal, that's kind of bad on us. And they want to start the road now. Now, I understand they want to start the road now. Then let me just ask one final question. If they decide not to build the commercial piece in that development, what do we do? Particularly, let me finish. Let me Is finish. Agreement finish. at all? Lee, yeah. Lee. In event of default, they pay us back $35,000. Lee, I did read it. Okay. In, in the agreement, which you should have read, which you should understand, they pay us back $35,000. After 10 years. We'll never see that if they don't put that commercial piece in. Ed? 10 years for them to put that in is a long time. Yeah, we Most make lots of, Gary, we make lots of 10-year loans. We do lots of things on 10-year projects. I'm not talking about that. The housing project will be built in 10 years. That's been the agreement since the very beginning. Okay. Any further discussion? Vote from my left, please. Kyle, yes. Lawrence, yes. Damiano, no. Merritt, yes. Johannes, yes. Motion passes. Item two, discuss and or take action to approve a short-form agreement by and between the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation and Exceed Engineering, LLC, for engineering services for the extension of Cody Austin Road. Have a motion, please. I move we accept the short-form agreement as presented. Sir, second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll go to the vote. 
From my left, please. Kyle, yes. Lawrence, yes. Damiano, no. Merritt, yes. Johannes, yes. Motion passes. Uh, that concludes this special meeting. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Meeting's adjourned at 512.